Welcome to the Raise Your Energy podcast. My name is Linda Lange and I'm your host. Have you ever considered creating a morning routine or an evening routine for yourself? If so, this episode is just for you. I will share with you my number one tip or my number one tool to use as a daily routine and why I suggest it. So let's find out. Maybe you're like me and you're always thinking that you need better routines in your day. Does that sound familiar to you? That inner critic that we carry around inside of ourselves, always reminding us to be better, do better, create better habits for ourselves. I'm deciding to letting go of these thoughts because they are limiting me. Just ask yourself, who says that I have to have a better routine in my day? Is there a God of daily routines that writes the law on those? No, there is not. So I'm letting go of that constant criticism, that judging myself of not having a stable morning or evening routine. And of course, I invite you to do the same if you want to do so. At the same time, it is fantastic to build routines into your day that help you to grow, help you to have a better day and make you feel better. I think we can all agree on that one, right? At this time in my life, my good habits are spread all over the day and are very much flexible on when they actually get done or when they happen. But that is easier for me to do because I have my own business and I can do throughout the day whatever I want. So you might be searching for a morning or evening routine because you're working during your day and you want to have something that fits around that. And I fully understand that. And that's why I'm creating this episode to talk to you about a great way to start your day or to end your day. Before I share with you my number one tool for a morning or evening routine, let's create some clarity around why you have the desire to build a morning or evening routine into your life. There are so many benefits to having a daily routine around things that are important to us so they actually get done. Let's say you want to do daily exercise and you want to create a habit to read more, read more books. You can create a morning routine of, let's say, one hour where you read for 30 minutes and then you do 30 minutes of exercise. Whatever is important to you, brings you joy, or you want to create a habit, by doing it straight away in the morning, you make sure that it gets done. And having an evening routine has lots of benefits too, but they might be different to the one in the morning routine. An evening routine is really great to help you sleep better and be more rested for the next day. Having a daily practice in the evening can help you to balance yourself out and to process what has happened through the day for you to then go to a better night of sleep. As you can see, building daily routines is really helpful for us to be able to create habits into our lives, looking after our physical and mental health, improving your fitness or creating the space for certain things that help you grow and enjoy your day. One thing that I do want to call out at this moment is still to be kind to yourself. It's not always possible to follow your usual morning or evening routine and you want to be okay with that. So please don't use now this new routine for you to control yourself or judge yourself or beat yourself up when you're not able to follow the routine for one or two days. If you put too much pressure on yourself through this routine, you might even not get started or you might give up very quickly. So be kind to yourself. I'm going to suggest to you one particular practice for you for a reason. As we just found out, you can literally put into your morning or evening routine whatever you want to do. And you want to keep it as well flexible. You want to be able to change and make a different choice, change your opinion. 
So don't think if you decide now to use one thing for your morning routine that you have to do that for the rest of your life. No, mix it up, change it up. You change as a person constantly so your routines can change with you as well. And if you do not have currently a morning routine and an evening routine, then I would advise you to just choose one of those instead of doing both and just overwhelm yourself. I don't want you to be overwhelmed and then do neither of those. So start with what works better for you. Is it easier for you to implement something now in the morning or in the evening? So my suggestion as a tool for your evening or morning routine is to meditate. And of course, any kind of meditation is good, but I will suggest a certain kind of meditation to you and I will explain to you why. So let's start with your morning. Most people wake up and when they wake up, initially they don't think anything and they don't feel anything. But as soon as they wake up more and they come to their senses, they rush to think and feel so they remember who they are. But most of the times, their mind will go to all of their problems. It will go to their to-do list for the day or worries about their future because these thoughts are familiar to them. They had them before, <laughs> so they practice them before. So by repeating those thoughts, they remember who they are as an identity. So reflect for a second for yourself. What do you do when you come to your senses first thing in the morning? What are your first thoughts when you wake up? Would you agree with me that it's maybe not the best idea to think about your problems, your to-do list or your worries first thing in the morning? Yeah, it might be better to rather set an intention for the day on who you want to be. How do you want to show up during your day? Who do you want to be so you enjoy yourself more? That's what I suggest you meditate on first thing in the morning. Set an intention for the day so you know that you mindfully create your day and not just live it on autopilot. And the good news is that, surprise, surprise, I do have a meditation to guide you through this process of setting daily intentions. Yes, how coincidental, right? <laughs> this meditation helps you to get to your operating system where you can set a solid intention for the day. You can visualize and you can practice how your day is going to look and feel like. And then when we look at the evening routine, I suggest you meditate on the day that you just experienced. This is a great time in the evening for you to reflect on the day that you just had, to celebrate yourself and feel grateful for all the things that you do want to feel grateful for. And if something happened during the day that could have gone better, it's a great way to reflect and decide how you respond or behave next time the same situation happens again. You can literally practice it while you're in the meditation of how to behave or respond next time around. When you are in a meditative state, you are closer to your subconscious mind, your operating system. So you can program yourself to think, act and feel differently. And yes, you can probably already guess, I do have a meditation for that as well. A meditation where I will guide you exactly through that process of reflection, celebration, gratefulness, and to decide differently. You can find both of these meditations on YouTube for you to do daily if you decide so. They even come in two different lengths, depending on how much time you have or want to spend on your meditation. When I want to create a new habit, I love to do something for 30 days. That does not mean that I always create a very solid habit in that time, but it's a great start to, first of all, challenge myself, but at the same time, not overwhelm myself by saying that I will do something now for the rest of my life. 
So give it a go for 30 days to create your morning or evening routine. Choose just one of those so you can be more intentional in your life. And the other cool thing with these meditations is that you can reprogram your subconscious mind even for other habits while you're creating the meditation habit. So you see, you even get two for one or even three for one if you decide so. And I'm not even going to talk about all the other benefits that you will experience by meditating for 30 days straight. But if you're interested to find out more about all the benefits that meditation gives you, I do have several episodes on that. Okay, that's all I have for you today on the topic of creating a morning or evening routine for yourself. Let me know if that was helpful to you. Connect with me via Instagram, Facebook or YouTube because I would love to hear from you. Maybe you even have already a really good morning and evening routine or one of those and I would love to know more about it and how it helps you in your life. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Make sure that you subscribe for future episodes and leave me a thumbs up if you like this one. And with that, I love you and leave you. Talk soon and bye-bye.